All right, guys, this is the creepiest video I've done to date. These bugs give me the absolute heebie-jeebies. I've seen the first five seconds and I already feel like vomiting and turning off. So viewer discretion is strongly advised. If you're scared of bugs, please just play the video, but don't look at the screen or something, all right? I'll commentate it for you. Cockroaches, spiders, scorpions. These things are so creepy. There are an estimated 10 quintillion insects on Earth. Quintillion? What? Two billion for every human. Yeah, every single gym bro is like, yo, that's a lot of protein. How do we get in on this? Free protein? Let's go. But there is one man taking on more than his fair share. One meal at a time. My name is Dave Gracer, and I'm obsessed with eating bugs. I love the confidence. If you're gonna be crazy about something, at least own it all the way. He's got the Pokemon bug catcher hat on, he's got the suit, and look at how happy he is picking that innocent little bug off the ground and just putting it in his mouth. What, a, what an absolute giga chat. And you know what it is? It's because of all the protein he's consuming for sure. To be obsessed means I get told that I'm crazy. Yeah, you are crazy. Or sick or weird. And, I mean, that's what it is to be in an unpopular position. An unpopular position. That's one way to put it. Actually, go ahead and use this link down below if you want to buy some protein. I have a referral link. Why not? There is this complete double standard that people have. Bugs, as long as they're in the ocean, crab, shrimp, and lobster are just fine to eat, and people like them, and spend quite a bit of money for them. Whereas, if bugs are on the land, suddenly it's all ew. Okay, that's actually a really good point. If you consider them crustaceans, which they might be, I don't know, I'm not a biologist. If anyone is, please tell me down below if crustaceans are equivalent to insects. You know what? Shrimp are really delicious. Lobsters are really delicious. Crabs, you know, I could take it or leave it, but if it's really prepared well, crab is also really delicious. But if you really want to tell me that an insect tastes the same as those animals, mm -mm, I ain't buying it. Sorry, sorry. No, not convincing me. Feel some more? David Gracer is an average 47-year-old teacher living with his wife and daughter in Rhode Island. But David's diet... Look at his plate. His family is eating what looks like eggs and bacon. And he's just there with like, I don't know what bugs these are, but like, oh man, dude. How can you resist bacon? That's the most disturbing part of this video so far, that he would eat the bugs over eating bacon. That is not acceptable, man. Not acceptable. I take back everything nice I said about your costume and your little butterfly net. I let that one go, man. I let that one go, but I'm bringing it up now. Is not exactly average. He has eaten more than 5,000 bugs over the past 11 years. Only 5,000 bugs in 11 years? If that's all he's eating, I don't know, what does that work out to? Let's do some really quick math. We've got 11 times 365. So he's only eating like one bug per day, like one and a little bit bugs per day. That does not add up. I'm calling cap right now. When it comes to getting bugs, you gotta kill them and there's a variety of ways of doing that. I prefer freezing them. He just freezes them to death? Dude, this guy is also giving serial killer vibes. If you wanna see another one, check out Gloria. She is insane. This guy makes her look like a saint. Cause you go to sleep. So I think it's the most humane way. I like how they're like, oh yeah, when you freeze an animal, it just goes to sleep. Yeah, if you're stranded on Mount Everest, you're also just gonna go to sleep. It's not like it hits us differently or if it's like better for them. Like, dude, it's like, it's not a good justification, all right? Leave the bugs alone. I know they're creepy. They give me the heebie-jeebies too, but I'm not like, I don't have a vendetta against them. I don't wanna eat every single bug in the world to get some revenge. I don't know what trauma must have hit him in his childhood. This is my treasure chest of edible bugs. David keeps a stock of over 12,000 insects from 20 different species. He stores the carcasses in a freestanding freezer in his basement. That's a lot of insects, that's a lot of different species, and I just figured out what happened in his childhood. You know how when you're a kid, sometimes people convince you to just grab the ants and eat them, and usually you're gonna just go for the black ones? Well, he must have lived in a place with some really hardcore fire ants that just absolutely like gave him a massive reaction, and ever since that day, he was like, mm-mm, now I'm taking revenge on all of the animals. Not just you, little ants, I'm going after all the insects in the animal kingdom. David's interest in eating insects just kept getting bigger. 
Grasshopper, grasshopper, grasshopper. And bigger. Why is she smiling? Why is his wife so into this? Fly pupa, cicada. And bigger. Scorpion tastes kind of like this weird plastic. Scorpion tastes like a weird plastic. Okay, in order to be able to make that statement, you'd have to know what eating plastic is like. And it doesn't surprise me one bit that this guy is not only eating bugs and he's also eating plastic. Everything adds up. This will last me about two weeks, maybe a week. Of the few species of cockroaches that I've had, these are tastier than the others, and they're very crunchy. Crunchy, mm. Oh, like a Dorito. Yeah, yummy. Mm. All right, guys, I don't even know what to say about this guy. Um, I'm already at a loss from words from Gloria, which I recorded a couple minutes ago. Check that out here, and uh, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and if you have more videos that you want me to react to, please go ahead and put them in the comments because I'm on the hunt for these kinds of videos. And make sure you check out the next one.